you, when you look at the, the, the global picture, you have this crisis in Ukraine, you have a crisis in Venezuela, uh, just a, a mess, total disarray in Syria, you have Iran, all falling in the lap of this man. Jake just mentioned him. We just played some sound. Secretary of State John Kerry. And Kerry has come in for some criticism lately, but none stronger than First this. All, say, Look at I'm this. This is from our Crossfire host, Newt Gingrich, tweeted this. Every American who cares about national security must demand Kerry's resignation. A delusional Secretary of State is dangerous to our safety. That tweet came right after Kerry said this. Climate change can now be considered another weapon of, war, of, of, of mass destruction, perhaps even the world's most fearsome weapon of mass destruction. So then Newt Gingrich went on to Twitter to, to tweet this. Does Kerry really believe global warming is more dangerous than North Korean and Iranian nukes more than Russian and Chinese nukes? Really? And here he is, Newt Gingrich, along with Van Jones, two of my colleagues on Crossfire. So, gentlemen, welcome to both of you. Thank you. Good to be with you. So, Mr. Speaker, or my colleague, Newt Gingrich, I guess is how I get to refer to you now. Uh, I, I believe you have heard this exchange already, but just let's listen again. The, taking you back to 2007, this is you and John Kerry discussing climate change. Roll it. What would you say to uh, Senator Inhofe and to others in the Senate? who are resisting even the science. What's your message to them here today? My, my, my message, I think, is that the evidence is sufficient that we should move towards the most effective possible steps to reduce carbon loading of the atmosphere. And, and do it urgently, now. And do it urgently, yes. So, Newt, again, this is 2007. You know, you are, you are saying basically that global warming is such a threat. It requires urgent action. But here, fast forward seven years, you have John Kerry saying, hey, we need to take action. And then you say he should resign. Well, wait, wait. There's a huge difference. I think that we can have a serious, rational conversation. I think we can adopt positive policies, and we have. Uh, I recently, for example, wrote about a uh, brand new plant in Mississippi that does a dramatic job of carbon capture that the southern companies developed. Now, there are things we can do. But what John Kerry said on Sunday in, in uh, Indonesia, Jakarta. Is, in Jakarta, is profoundly wrong. He how, said, how so? this, well, he said this could be the greatest weapon of mass destruction, the greatest threat that we face. Now, you just showed Kiev. Mm -hmm. Russia is a neighbor to Kiev. Russia has several thousand nuclear weapons. The Iranians announced the day after Kerry's speech, the, the uh, Ayatollah Khomeini, the chief dictator said, nothing is going to come out of the negotiations. He doesn't mind them going on, but nothing will be agreed to. You have the problems uh, of over 100 nuclear weapons in Pakistan, for example, several hundred in China. To suggest that climate change is comparable as a threat to human beings, but, but it, to these it, kind of weapons, I think is lunacy. It, it seems like that, that is a misstatement because I have the verbatim in, in front of me and it was John Kerry who said climate change can now be considered another weapon of mass destruction. We know all the, the, the miles he's traveling, all of the, the what, what he's second. trying to Read do to denuclearize Iran. No, and, no. and we also know Read that he perhaps sentence. is thinking down the road, we all need to curb our impact to climate change. Is that no. not a mischaracterization of what he said? No. Read the next sentence. He says, indeed, it could be the most dangerous perhaps. weapon of mass destruction. He said perhaps. Uh, I, let me just say, say a couple of things here. First of all, uh, I'm proud that John Kerry is willing and able. He's one of the few world leaders that's trying to connect some of the dots here. There's not a, first of all, he mentions in this speech, he does talk about terrorism. He does talk about the other threats. But there's not a single problem we have on the world stage that doesn't get made worse if the climate is more destabilized. If you even look at Syria, what's going on in Syria? Nobody talks about this. A million plus people because of a big drought there flooded into the cities. That became a part of destabilization. In Libya, 93% of Libya is arid. That became a part of destabilization. We've got to be able to connect these dots. And I don't think it's fair when you have a Secretary of State as energetic and creative as John Kerry has been to say he should be fired over one line in a speech and the, when the overall speech, I think, is very appropriate. Let me, let me stay with you, Van, because I, I, I want to turn this around. Because since Kerry has been in office, we have seen, you, you bring up Syria, we have seen essentially zero progress there. There is still the situation in Iran. North Korea is still uh, a menace, and I think that's putting Zero it, progress? It, 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 hang on. North Korea is still a mess. Um, we're, we're resetting relations with, with Russia. That, that's pretty tense. Tell me what John Kerry has done at improving all of those sure. situations. 
Well, well first of all, uh, it, we have the Iranians at the table. Uh, we are trying to figure out a way, short of going to war, short of starting another war, ground war in the Middle East to get Iran to back off. That's real progress. Syria, I agree, is a mess, but I don't think the American people or the Democrats or the Republicans wanted the president to start a war there. So inside of not starting a war, which the Republicans didn't want him to do, he's been uh, uh, trying to be effective. The Geneva uh, situation didn't work out well, but he, not for lack of trying. Now they've got a reset. But the idea that these problems are easy and simple to solve and that somehow John Kerry is off in berserkly someplace, when the, you can see every day he's on TV doing the best job he can, I just don't think it makes sense. New Gingrich, well, look, please react, I mean, sir. Well, look, John Kerry is a sincere person. He's an energetic person. I agree with that. He also has, a, a, I think, a set of values and goals that make no sense. If you read the speech from Jakarta mm -hmm. line by line, it is a speech which I think has a whole series of factual errors in it, and it's a speech which sets a standard for the State Department. Remember, this is not some senator. This is the Secretary of State for the United States telling the entire planet that we believe the greatest danger we face is global climate change. I guarantee you when Vladimir Among Putin them. was briefed on that, uh, Putin thought to himself, this is a guy who is not in touch with reality, and Putin decided that he could take more risks than he's already taking when he's dealing with an administration I, that is this misfocused. Go ahead, Van. You I, get the last word, look, then I got to uh, go. 30 hey, seconds. Okay, okay, look, I, you know, how much I, I respect the speaker, um, Newt Gingrich. However, that's completely wrong. You know who else agrees with John <laughs> Kerry? The Pentagon. The CIA, they all say that climate change is a major, major threat to America's national security. I guess everybody in the Pentagon should resign as well. Van Jones and Newt Gingrich, <laughs> we're going to have to have part two on Crossfire tonight, 6.30 Eastern. Tonight. We'll be watching. Guys, thank you very much. See you then. Uh,